What's up guys, it's Jamie Messina, and today we're gonna answer that pesky question, will I regain all that weight back after I stop doing the keto diet? We'll get right into it. Long story short guys, there is no quick fix. There's lifestyle changes. No matter what diet you're following or nutrition plan you're following that got you to your goal, that's what's gonna keep you there. So say for example, you're not even doing keto, you're doing clean eating or some type of something, right? You cut out all the junk, you're only doing clean eating, um, and you've lost 30 pounds because of it. 30 pounds was your goal and there you are, and now all of a sudden you just go back to eating fried whatever and cake and whatever it may be, yeah, you're gonna gain the weight back. When you fall back into old habits and you start backtracking, your progress is gonna start backtracking too, no matter what you're doing. But I've had people say to me, I'm not doing that keto diet. I heard that the minute you stop, you gain all this weight back and then some. Well listen Sally, here's the deal. Here's what happens when you stop eating keto and start eating regular foods again. Yes, when you start eating carbs again, you're going to gain water weight back. Why? Well, you've been eating low carb, your body went through that whoosh effect, it flushed out all the water weight. Now, if you start eating heavy carbs, it might feel like overnight you gained five or 10 pounds back, but that's not fat that you're gaining back. It's water. So the bad news is you are going to feel it and you are gonna notice. And that's kind of where the bad rap about keto comes in. People think they're gaining all this fat back, but really they're just gaining that water weight back now that they're eating carbs again. Now you're probably gonna hate me for saying this, but if you want to be successful in any diet, stop thinking of it as a diet. Find a nutrition plan that's going to fit into your lifestyle for the long term. Lifestyle. If that's the ketogenic diet, great. If that's something else, awesome. Just find something that fits for you. In fact, reason so many people have success with the ketogenic diet is because it's easier to fit into their lifestyle. And a lot of people find it easy to stick to long term. Now here's the deal though. As you start to reach your goals, as you start to hit you know, that number that you wanted to hit, you can start to make some adjustments. Maybe you add more cheat meals in. Whatever it may be for you, start to add it back. Maybe one night you have a ton of popcorn. But schedule those in to your schedule because if you're anything like me and you start to add cheats in here and there, next thing you know, everything becomes a cheat and I'm way, way off track. So be conscious of that and be conscious of adding them in and not going overboard if that is your goal. Speaking of goals, it's important to be aware and conscious of your own goal when adjusting your diet. If you still have 35, 40 pounds to go, then stick to your strict nutrition plan till you get there. I like to wait till I'm at my goal and confident in my skin, mentally, physically, before adjusting anything. If you're still in the weight loss process and you still have some ways to go, adding cheats in might not be the best idea. But if you reached your weight loss goal, you're feeling confident in your skin, you're feeling confident mentally, make some adjustments. Now one way that I stay on track with my cheats and adding things back in, I like to supplement with exogenous ketones. That helps to put me back into ketosis quickly. I drink them before and after cheats. And for me personally, that works. Whatever it is that you're doing guys, just make sure the plan is right for you and that it's not just a diet, but something that you're going to be able to fit into your lifestyle. Because no matter what it is you're doing, no matter what path you take, if you just stop doing it, you're going to backtrack, you're going to um, gain weight back, and you know, that's the price you pay. So find something you like, find something that fits for you, no matter what it is, and stick with it. At the end of the day, what matters is that you're happy and you're healthy and that your life doesn't revolve around avoiding things or not being happy um, in your own body. So just find something that works for you. That's what I got for you guys today. Stopping the keto diet isn't going to make you gain a ton of weight unless you're eating a ton of crappy food. But getting off of any diet and doing that is going to make you gain a ton of weight. All right, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends, give me a good comment below, and let me know if there's anything that you want me to address in my next video. I am open to suggestions. That's it for today. I will be back again soon. Bye.